hi, hello, welcome to my channel if you're new here, hi. My name is Melanie, if you'd like to get to know me a little bit, all my social media links are linked down below. If you're keen to check me out, I'm getting more, pop more popular, more active on Instagram, TikTok, the works, and obviously I post on here semi-regularly. But today I thought I would hop in and kind of talk about the five books that I think you should read this season, whether it be spooky season, this cozy season, or even spring. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, I feel like these books, they just hit for every season, but actually mainly in particular for the spooky season. And I'm also going to do a quick five that I want to also read the season, whether or not I can and will are two very different things. Let's go ahead and jump straight on into it. So here is my stack of five that I think you should read this season. First book that I have here is one for My Enemy by Olivia Blake. This is such a fun witchy read. I read it earlier this year, just before I headed overseas, probably in May. And this follows a group, two groups of witches in a semi Romeo and Juliet retelling sort of tale. This definitely does put a spin on the traditional and classic Shakespearean tale, but with a really good spin, in my opinion, this is told also through acts. And I liked this a lot because it is so atmospheric, which I think everyone wants this time of year. Even like in the Southern Hemisphere in South Africa, like this is kind of our rainy season. We're heading towards rain. Today is a gloomy, gloomy day, and I can think of nothing better than to read this book. I just really, really enjoyed this. If you're looking for a really quick, fun read, this for me was it. And I really liked the spin, as I mentioned. Like it was just so fun, so unique. And this is definitely one of my favorites from Olivia Blake so far. And obviously one of them that I really do want to get to is Masters of Death by Olivia Blake. This is another one of her original novels that have recently been published. And I have this once again really stunning Illumicrate edition. And this follows vampires. And honestly, October is vampire season. I refuse to hear anything else this year. But these are definitely two books that I think are great for the season one. My Enemy, definitely, because I've read it and I highly recommend it already. And Masters of Death, just because vampires you know we're looking at what i would feel like is a very it's a very vampire-esque year actually based on how many books have come out so these are definitely two that i think you should read but more so this one is for me to still pick up and one that i really want to read moving on to the next book i have i'm gonna this is quite a mix of like middle grade young readers editions as well as like older books and the next one i have here is amelia fang and the barbaric ball this is an entire series following Amelia and her friends as they basically go on adventures throughout Nocturnia and they learn a little bit more about Land of the Light, I think? Or the Kingdom of the Light or something like that. This is just such a fun, cute read. If you're looking for something, just really quick to read this spooky season, giving you all of the spooky feels, but in a really fun and adorable way. This is definitely the series for me. I am hands down always been a favorite of this one when, ever since I read this first book a couple of years ago, I think I got it as soon as it came out. And ever since then, it's just been a go-to for my recommendations this season because it is just that much fun. And it's one of those that you could just keep reading every year and they just get more and more enjoyable. The next one is Dreadwood. I actually just finished this like yesterday when I'm filming this video, but this was just such a fun, really spooky, chilly kind of read. I really like the setting of this where we follow four kids who have been given Saturday detention and what can be worse than going to school on a Saturday? Well, possibly getting eaten by something mysterious, getting chased around the school by two psychotic people, and this is just a really fun read in my opinion. It was so quick, it is a middle grade, this is perfect for 9 to 12 year olds in the season, and I love this, like I really cannot wait to read more. This is a series where we follow the four main characters as they uncover more mysteries. And then just one that I feel like is a really fun read, and I really enjoyed reading it this year, and that is The Witch's Throne by Cedric Cabells. This is a tapas comic that has now been turned into like a little graphic novel by Andrew McNeil Publishing. This was fun. It follows the story of a witch who is basically her existence means that there is going to be death and destruction and so we have our main characters who are becoming kings or they come in like king seekers and in order to become king seekers they one have to be level 99 because it's like set in this game like format and two they have to enter this tournament and survive and if they do they get given positions in a hunting party and this was just really fun and i highly recommend i cannot wait to get volume two i've already ordered it and i definitely think you should too then the last one which i still think is perfect because it's literally set on halloween is daisy darker by alice Beanie. this one is my favorite i picked it up last year and i was just going along the hype let me just tell you this book had me enthralled it captured my attention 
and did not let it go. I listened to the audiobook, but I definitely feel like this year I will be reading it physically because it's just one of those books that I can easily see myself picking up year in, year out, and you definitely should pick this one up as well. In this one, we follow Daisy, who is arriving to her grandmother's house on her 80th birthday, and things just seem to go awry. Her grandmother lives on this secluded island house, where basically it's like just this, this house on this little island, and it gets closed off from the world when it gets to high tide, and that is kind of where our story starts to take place, and things just go crazy, and I love this, and I think you will too. Trust me, you will. Now jumping into the five books that I would really like to get to the season, but I don't know if it's going to be possible. It's probably going to be pushed more into the summer here, like the hot disgusting summer in South Africa, but we're going to go through these as quickly as possible. The first one I have here that I want to read is The Thieves' Gambit. This is a debut from Kavian Lewis, and this just sounded so impeccably fun. This follows Rosalind Quest, who was raised by a legendary family of thieves with one rule, trust no one. She plans to escape the glamorous world of heists and double crosses when a kidnapping leaves her mother's life hanging in the balance. In a desperate bid to save her family, Russ enters the Thieves' Gambit, a cutthroat international competition to crown the world's greatest thief. To win, she must outwit her backstabbing competitors, including her longtime arch nemesis. But can she steal victory from the handsome boy who makes a play for her heart and who might be hiding the most dangerous secret of them all? Like, this just sounds like such a really fun time, and they did a, a sprayed edge on the first printing, so I mean, just all the more reason to pick it up. The next book, which is basically on my next book to read kind of situation, is Lockwood & Co. I watched the series, the Netflix series, with my boyfriend a couple of months ago, and it's an amazing series. If you haven't watched it, watch it. It has been cancelled, there won't be a season two, but the first season is incredible. Incredible. It made me want to pick up the series and I've been wanting to pick up the series for years now and that was like the push to start it this year and I'm so excited to jump into this. And another one which I will be buddy reading with my friend Roseanne is The Four by Ellie Kill. This is a dark academia-esque book and it is welcome to high realms, to succeed is to survive. I don't need to know much more than that because honestly this book sounds really incredible from the get-go and I'm hoping to pick it up. This comes out in April 2024 if you're interested but I'm excited to jump into this as soon as possible. We then have one that I think just matches the season based on the title alone and that's all I need and that is If I Have to Be Haunted by Miranda Sun. This is the Fairy Loot exclusive edition and honestly this one I feel like matches the vibe 100% more and I'm so excited to pick this one up. When? Soon. That is my goal is soon and I just really can't wait to pick this one up because the vibes, the vibes are just immaculate. And then the very last book that I would like to read this spooky season is None Other Than Fox Club by Adeline Grace. I read Belladonna last year this time and then I reread Belladonna this year as well and honestly suffice to say like this is just such a perfect gothic setting that you just have to pick up and read. I highly recommend it. If you haven't picked up Belladonna that would have been on my list if I didn't have like other recent reads but this is definitely on my list to read this year because honestly the Verdona ended off on like a really nice cliffhanger that gets you straight on into this book as soon as possible and I'm really excited and these covers with like the the fox and even the bird on Belladonna is just spooky and gothic and it's what I need this season. So those are the five books I think you should read this season and the five books I hope to read this season. I hope that you enjoyed it. It's quite a quick little video. I haven't done one of these in a while but if you enjoyed it let me know down below in the comment section. I will make more of these in the future or something similar to these. Maybe not like five wrecks but like just a quick little discussion video as opposed to vlogs or something along those lines but yeah. If you want to see me read the five books that I said I would, let me know down below and I might end up doing a vlog for them. But other than that, thank you so very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.